All right, guys, I want to do something quick and fun. So one of my favorite words, draconian, and I cover this in all my lectures when I talk about uh, ancient history of the Greeks, and it's a great word, draconian. Uh, it's a word that you've probably all heard of, but not many people sometimes know what it means, and they don't know where it comes from. So it's like many other words, it actually comes from the ancient Greeks, specifically from a man named Draco who in 621 was the leader of Athens. Athens, of course, in ancient Greece down here on the coast. And he, in part of the kind of development of Athenian politics, he wrote down the laws in Athens, something that had not existed before in Athens to a very organized degree. The thing is, when Draco wrote down the laws, the laws were very harsh. Uh, for example, you'd get the death penalty for stealing cabbage. Um, and so, uh, as a result of this, the word from the word Draco, from his name, we eventually get the word draconian, which to this day still means harsh. So I explained to all my students that, you know, if Draco happened to write soft laws, the word draconian would mean soft or easy. It'd be a silly sounding word. The word itself sounds harsh. Uh, so anyways, that's where you get the word draconian, simply meaning harsh. So next time you're writing a paper, you want to impress your English professor or something, or your English teacher, instead of using the word, word harsh, use the word draconian, and then you can explain to them where it comes from. Uh, if, of course, you want to know a lot more about ancient Greece, I've got a whole bunch of lectures on the whole development of Athenian democracy and all that fun stuff, but this was just a super short on how you get the word draconian. All right, cool stuff. Have a good day, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that.